Hey guys, I'm here with Lucas Wald. I want to talk a little bit about some myths, that some common myths in the golf swing. One of those is the idea that your left foot should say plant, left heel should say planted on the on the ground on the back swing. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's no coincidence that 49 out of the top 51 all-time winners allowed the left heel to come up on the back swing. So you know it's typically thought of that we want to reduce motion on the back swing and keep everything still. You know, but what I'm seeing in the best players is an athletic movement, which when, when you're athletic and you're moving around, this hill will tend to come up. Um, so we want to maximize the physics of the golf swing by allowing more ranges of motion. And one, one of the ways you guys can do that is allow the left hill to come up. Bigger hip turn will produce more club head speed. Ultimately. So the idea of planting your left heel, restricting your hips on the back swing, you don't buy into that at all? No. So. Um, it's, it's not what the legends do. When you go back throughout the history of the game, if you look at Harry Barden or McDonald Smith or Ben Hogan or Nicholas or even you know some of the, the best drivers on tour now like Bubba Watson, the free-flowing, unrestricted hip move on the back. So let your heel come up, get your knee behind the ball, let your hips turn freely on the back swing and you can start moving like the greatest players of all time.